So hey guys, and we are bringing you today another deck profile. This time we're going to be taking a look at Alessandro Bognolo's PK decklist, which actually came up in first place at Multiverses of Games 800 euros prize pool 50 players tournament. It's important to note that in this decklist you're not going to be seeing the, the standard DPE package with the Fusion Destinies, the Celestial, the Dasher and the DP himself and that's because this tournament was actually held before the release of Burst of Destiny and that's also another reason why you don't see the artifact package in Dagda in the extra deck and the scythe in the main so we can just jump and now shout out to a sponsor the first one being Grad, the best grading company in Europe which offers grading services in all languages and all OCG TCG version of the card you might have or need which is launching a brand new campaign which you will totally love. This is basically a new cover that fits perfectly the card without the need of a sleeve in order to see the beauty of your cards and to have an endless protection. Check them out. The second one is Colin Logan Gaming, which is a safe place to every YGO lover and player. Basically, in there they offer tournaments uh, for money and not for money, just for entertainment in every format you might want, need or desire. That's a great opportunity to improve as a player and also to make friends in the best community for YGO players ever made. And last but not least, we have Playmat Per Tutti. They produce amazing custom playmats where you can send your own drawing or images, making it on your own and making the playmat your playmat. I've played with them, they are really amazing because they offer best quality for their products and you definitely gotta try playing with them. All our sponsors link are gonna be in the description down below, so don't forget to go check so, them of out. Of course, Triple Tour Guide, the best normal summon this deck, this deck can get, the one Seer and the one Graph, and then we can get into the standard PK package in the Triple Tone Scales, the one Stain Greaves, the one Ragged Gloves, the Triple Boots and the Double Cloak. Then we get into the level 3 extenders lineup with Jackalope, the one Such, the double psychic package with uh, tracker and wielder the one of ogre the two kagemushas and the two forwards and to complete the monsters lineup we can we can see that he's playing the dragoon package with red eyes black dragon the dark magician and of course we're going to be seeing the red eyes fusion then he plays a 12 spell cards spell cards lineup and we can see that he plays uh, the one rota the double Itali, the single reborn, the single red eyes fusion, a powerful three of dark ruler no more, and the triple chalice alongside with a single burial. Then we can get into the traps, and Alessandro played um, a six traps lineup in a single imperial order, a meta killer, the single brigandine, the wings, the wing, and the triple fog blade. Uh, as you can see, it's not playing in Imperm since uh, it actually is gonna be colliding with the Brigandine condition, so he's gonna opt for the Chalices instead. Then we can go into the extra deck. In the extra deck, we're gonna be seeing the single Link 5 in Underworld Goddess, which is actually one of the best ways to get rid of your opponent's most uh, annoying monsters then an access code hawker as uh, his main powerful win con uh, the one apolusa which is mandatory in this deck to to save yourself from nibiru but also set up negates uh, the one unicorn and of course the single bardish alongside with a single cherubini then an ip to complete the unicorn package and the single Anaconda, of course for Dragoon, and a single Link Spider. Then only one fusion in the man himself Dragoon. And then we can get into the five Xyz card lineup in uh, a single Zeus, a single Downer, a double Breaksword, and a single Levier. And you're not gonna be seeing uh, an Arc Rebellion since uh, he already has a lot of win cons and he doesn't really need to uh, clog his extra deck with um, with Arc Rebellion, Raiders Knight, and so on and so forth. So now we're gonna take a look at the side deck, and he plays the one of Pankratops, an amazing card going second, uh, the Triple Nibiru, 
which is insane in this uh, exact format. The triple draw, uh, which is another great meta killer since it is gonna be giving problems to basically every meta deck in this meta right now, uh, and specific, specifically Drysrun. The double Lancia, of course, for both the mirror matches and the, and the Tri Brigade matchup. The triple twin twisters and the single feather dusters because uh, you have to at least have some back row hate in case you're gonna be going against Eldritch or some sort of control decks. And the double anti spell fragrance because uh, alongside with order is really really oppressive and floodgates are really really powerful in this exact in this exact meta. So this was the deck. Congratulations to Alessandro for his first place, and uh, and that's it. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you for following us. And for those who don't follow us, uh, remember that we have uh, that we are on all socials. You can follow us on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. You can go on to our Facebook page and uh, that's it. Thank you guys and uh, have a nice day.